No matter how saturated a market is, I think there's always room for someone that's innovative and has a dynamic and new approach to whatever product it is, whether it's real estate or producing some widget or sales, uh, whatever it may be. But specifically in Montreal, from when I started in this business 15, 16 years ago, all the big players, all the private owners, there's a fraction of them that are left. They've mostly been bought out by institutional investors. And I think there's a real vacuum in Montreal for young uh, entrepreneurs, young developers that are private. I think that there's, there's a very bright future for these developers if they work hard and they bring the appropriate skill sets to what they do. You know, by, by way of example, I think that whatever, whenever there's something being done institutionally or something being done privately, it's always going to be done better by the private developer or private business person. You know, I buy a lot from institutions and the reason that I buy from institutions is we're better at managing the properties, we're better at leasing the properties because we own them directly and we're responsible to ourselves to create profits, not to shareholders. So it's very important for us for the real estate to be successful, otherwise I don't eat and my employees don't eat. We see a very big chasm between how institutions run their properties and how private developers run their properties.